Hello children, welcome to my class. I am Thelma, faculty of Silver Hills Public School, Calicut, English department. So today we are going to learn a new chapter, Johnny Appleseed. Can you see beautiful cross section of apple seed here? Yeah, this is a cross section of apple and these are apple seeds. Wow, wonderful, right? So let us begin with a prayer. This is not just a prayer, this is Johnny Appleseed prayer. So everyone listen. The Lord is good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, the sun and the rain and the apple seed. The Lord has been good to me. And every seed that grows shall grow into a tree. And soon one day there'll be apples there for everyone in the world to share. The Lord has been good to me. All right. So that is Johnny Appleseed prayer song. And today we are going to learn lots of things. So let us see what we are going to learn today. Today we will learn who is Johnny Appleseed and indeed his real name importance of Johnny Appleseed in the history of America and we will also see different orchards in different seasons all right and we will also learn homophones idioms and also the lesson Johnny Appleseed taught us and the important or uh, importance of planting trees and there are many more let us see keywords that we are going to use today orchards you have to know what is orchards pieces of land planted with fruit trees are called orchards not any trees fruit trees orchardist is a person who owns and manages an orchard miles a long way do you know kilometers yeah more than one and a half kilometers it's called miles a long way and let us read the story you have to open page number 78 in your english access textbook and if you don't have please don't worry i will be reading it you just listen to it so we will start reading the chapter before that we have to twist our tongue right we have to warm up our tongue so let us see this this is a tongue twister with apples all right so, so let us see let me see whether i can do it an anteater ate anti alligator's apples so angry anti alligator ate an anteater's ants oh how sad so i think your tongue might be twisted by now and so let us read the story page number 78 chapter number 6 johnny appleseed Many years ago, there lived a very hard-working farmer. His name was Johnny. His fields was full of corn. His trees was full of fruits. But I am not happy, he said. I want to help other people. One day, Johnny left his house. He walked many miles. On the way, he gave his good clothes and shoes to the poor people. He picked old sacks from the farm. He wore them as clothes. He wore a pot on his head as a hat. Johnny stopped at every farmhouse. He rapped at the door, rapped at the door, knocked at the door and asked for a few apples. There, the farmers had so many apples that they gladly give some of them away. Soon, Johnny's bag was full of apples. He came to a place where there were wide fields. Johnny sat there and took out his knife. He carefully cut the core from all the apples. He dug deep holes in the soil. In every hole he planted an apple core. So children, do you know what is an apple core? 
I will show you what is an apple core and this is an apple corer. So with this apple corer, I'm going to pull out the core of this apple. So let us see, you just have to pierce in through this, okay, and then you have to twist and turn and at last you will get the core of the apple. Here is the core of the apple. Can you see that? Yes, and you can see so many seeds. Yes, there will be almost 10 to 12 seeds inside this, I guess. And then what did Johnny Appleseed do? He just planted this core inside the soil. All right, and soon the plants became trees. Johnny sold the trees. With the money, he helped the poor. He planted more trees. Soon, everyone began to love this good man. They called him Johnny Appleseed. They gave him their very best apples for seeds. They also gave him clippings for the fr fruit trees. So these are the clippings of fruit trees. Johnny also planted pear trees, plum trees and peach trees. In the evenings, the children came to him. Johnny finished his work and told them wonderful stories about the things he had seen in his travels. Johnny Appleseed planted many trees. Soon, all empty fields became orchards. Wow, what a wonderful sight it might be. Johnny did this for about 50 years. Then his hair and beard become white. What does that mean? He became old. People loved him. They would come and plow and plant for him. That is plowing. Okay, turn up the earth before sowing seeds. And this is a plow that this boy is pulling, I mean pushing. Yes. So when old Johnny Appleseed went to live with the angels, no one ever forgot him. The people would sit under these trees and say, this orchard was planted by good man Johnny Appleseed. And that is the end of the story. So how nice the story was, isn't it? Yes, this is time for apple orchards. Now, those are beautiful apples there. Yummy, yummy apples. Yeah, this is an apple orchard. You can see how wonderful that is. And that is a pear. Pear orchard. And plums. You might have uh, had plums, right? Yeah, many different colors they come in. Purple, yellow, and these are plum trees, see? And peach trees. And have you ever seen the blossoms of peach trees? Wow, all these blossoms are very nice to see because you know, apple trees, all these trees come in the family of roses. So their flowers are beautiful. So this is a peach uh, orchard. Uh, with blossoms all pink in color yes and what season will it be spring season so let me ask you is johnny appleseed just a story do you think this is just a story yeah no this is an actual real man called john chapman johnny appleseed is john chapman and he was born in Massachusetts on September 26th, 1774, right? So this is not just a story. This is the actual person, John Chapman. And that is Johnny Appleseed, okay? John Chapman is Johnny Appleseed. And let us see what John Chapman has done. John Chapman was an orchardist. A nurseryman who introduced apple trees to a large part of Pennsylvania, Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana and Illinois. He thus made a great contribution to the westward expansion of United States. So for this you need to know the map of United States. So let's see. So you have to concentrate on this part and this is the westward part. Alright. So we are concentrating on that part. So this is a place where Johnny Appleseed was born, Massachusetts. And then he went to Pennsylvania, 
Ohio, Indiana, Illinois and Kentucky and this is his final resting place, Indiana. That is his tomb, Fort Wayne, Indiana. You can see Johnny Appleseed, John Chapman, he lived for others written on his tomb. And that is Johnny Appleseed. And do you know that there is a day celebrated as Johnny Appleseed Day? Yeah, do you know which day that is? That is on his birthday. Yes, 26th September of every year is celebrated as Johnny Appleseed Day. Why is Johnny Appleseed considered as a legend? Do you know why? For that, you have to know the history of America. What is history? Study of past. Yes? Yes. So let us see America in 1800s. Can you see the map of America here? Yes. And you can see there are some parts which are colored in green and others, rest of them, not colored. So these color, uh, this white colored portion of this map Okay, they were not inhabited by people. Means it was uninhabited. There were no people there. It was bare land. Right? So people from eastern part of America, they started moving, moving towards the west. Alright, this is the west part. So they started moving from there and they wanted to settle some places out here. They wanted to go and settle to west. Right, so then you, you can see this picture, people are coming from east and they are going to the westward direction towards the western side of America. And can you see, they don't have any train or they don't know what is plane, aeroplane was not there and you can see that there are wagons, see so many wagons. So, in these wagons, they had their precious valuable things and they were moving, they were moving as settlers from the east part of America to the west. Alright, so now the settlers were moving west and Johnny sold his apple seeds and saplings, you know the young plant of apple, yeah, saplings to them for these people who are moving. So, that they can grow orchards of their own. So this is what Johnny Appleseed did. Did you find any trees here? No, they are, there are so many land, wide land, bare land. So these people, these people who wanted to settle, they are called settlers, they wanted to go to the west and go settle there. So John Chapman, what did he do? Uh, Johnny Appleseed, he sold seeds to them and saplings of young plants of apples to them so that they can grow their own orchards. And see, John Chapman, Johnny Appleseed was standing there and greeting all the settlers and giving them the saplings of apple and also apple seeds so that they can go and grow on their own orchards. So now imagine, okay, the settlers were traveling through scary nights and gloomy days to find a land which they can call their own. How sad it will be on that days. But see what they have done, building their township in those bare lands. You can see the township out here. And the settlers started growing orchards. You can see that there are some orchards coming up, growing up. Okay. And then these settlers, don't forget, these settlers are brave men and women who had a dream in their mind and strength in their heart. Okay. To survive, to earn their living and to fulfill their vision. What was their vision? Was it fulfilled? Yes, of course. And the dreams of these pioneers became true. How? See how these lands are now. How beautiful it is. How beautiful orchards they have. And you can see Kentucky. See this town. This is a very beautiful and very well planned. And Indiana, Ohio, Massachusetts. See how beautiful and how clean and neat 
they have built up their cities. This is the Pioneer Valley in Massachusetts. It is a very scenic beauty and a very nice view. So see the Pioneer Valley in Massachusetts. And so let us sum up all these into a very beautiful song. All right, so listen. John Chapman was a real man and he lived long ago. He came from Massachusetts, that's how the story goes. He wanted to make apples available indeed. So people started calling him Johnny Appleseed. Oh, Johnny Appleseed, plant your orchards, watch them grow. Johnny Appleseed, planting as you go. Now Johnny was in Warren, a Pennsylvania town. He knelt down by a river and planted seeds deep down. He planted in Ohio and in Kentucky too. And he came to Indiana and planted seeds there too. Oh, Johnny Appleseed, plant your orchards, watch them grow. Oh, Johnny Appleseed, planting as you go. America was new then with settlers moving west. So Johnny planted orchards so they could have their best. Those apples could make cider and tasty apple pie. Or even apple butter for everyone to buy. Oh, Johnny Appleseed, plant your orchards, watch them grow. Oh, Johnny Appleseed, planting as you go. And that is the story of Johnny Appleseed. What fruit is of great use in history? Do you know what it is? Yes. What is that? Dates. Without dates, how can we write history? So now let us see the character map of Johnny Appleseed. I will be listing some of his characters that I found. You can find more. All right, so Johnny Appleseed was a very helpful person. Yes, of course, he was a helpful person. He was friendly, yes. He was a great nature lover. Of course, he was a great nature lover. He planted so many trees for 50 years. Imagine that. And he was a very hardworking person. Yes. And now, answer the following. Who was Johnny? Options are, was he a farmer, a doctor, or a painter? Answer is, he was a farmer. What did Johnny ask the people to give him? Did he ask for apples? Did he ask for biscuits or chocolates? He asked for apples. What did he do with the apples? What did he do with the apples? Did he throw them away? No. Did he eat them all? Or did he plant the cores? What did he do? He planted the cars. Yes, of course, he did that. Next question is, what was Johnny's new name? Was it Johnny Appleseed? Was it Johnny Chocolate Ninja? Or was it uh, Johnny Super Cool? Which one is that? What is the uh, new name that people give to Johnny? Yes, Johnny Appleseed is Johnny's new name. So, let us go into... Uh, a little bit of science, all right? Yeah, the science of apple growing is called pomology. Pomology, right? Yes. And now I will give you an apple guide. Okay, you might be seeing so many apples. Do you know how many are there? How many types, varieties of apples are there? There are more than 7,500 varieties of apple all over the world. So let us see. I have chosen some of those. All right. So let's see. Red Delicious. Yes, you have seen this. I have shown this in this video. Red Delicious. Jazz. Royal Gala. Uh, Granny Smith. Have you seen this green apple? Granny Smith? Golden Delicious and Fuji Apple. Yes, so these are some of the varieties of apples you might have seen in your grocery store. Yes, so apple trees in four seasons, right? Spring, summer, autumn and winter. So some of them call autumn as fall. Fall, when leaves fall down, yeah. So that is fall or autumn. So let us see how this 
or apple orchards or apple trees are in these four seasons spring in spring wow beautiful flowers i told you already they are uh, included in the rose family so their flowers the blossoms are very beautiful and now comes summer okay the apple grow throughout the summer and by the end of summer and beginning of autumn it is time for picking apples apple picking season so this is how it is and after that comes autumn or fall and now all leaves will fall down and then comes winter winter so cold yes and then after winter it starts again spring will starts again and then the cycle goes on so let us yes let us see what people all around the world call apple all right so let us see some of those all right in france they call pom in italy they call mela and in spain spanish people they call manzana and in japan they call ringo and do you know what we call in hindi seb yes you can also explore other languages it will be fun yeah now homophones let us see how you can answer this one okay what do you call two what is this it is not pears it's pears so what do you call two pears we will call them a pear pear a pear pear oh so let us see what is homophones words that are pronounced same but have different meaning and spellings so let us see some of those all right weak weak dough dough flower flower see the pronunciation week 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 is weekdays weekends sunday monday tuesday week okay not feeling good week doe d o e doe doe a deer a female deer remember this is a female deer and doe is something that you make prepare with the flower okay i will show you the picture for that and flower is the flower that you see the blossoms that you see flower is what you prepare your bread with all right so let's see here this is flower a rolling pin out here and this is dough flower dough this is flower and that is dough and that is a rolling pin all right so let's go on to idioms and proverbs an apple a day keep the doctor away this is a very famous saying an apple a day keeps the doctor away do you know what is the meaning of this eating an apple can improve your health and thus keep the doctor away so that means that if you eat apple you will be getting so much of energy yes so apple a day keeps the doctor away do you know anything else other than this we have learned about eating greens yes don't miss to eat your greens they are good for your health right next idiom is apple of my eye what does that mean most favorite person so sentence i have written here he love his daughter very much she is apple of his eye so a very favorite person is called apple of your eye yes what is the important lesson that you have learned and you will remember after learning this chapter what is the important lesson lesson is about trees okay so let me ask you are trees important trees are important why they give us fruits yes they give us shade they give they give clean air yes they produce good air for us to breathe help the soil to be in that place they help to prevent the soil erosion and they are home for birds and there are many more so don't you think trees are important and don't you think that you should plant a tree 
Yes, this is a project that I'm going to give you. All right, so everyone remember this one. Okay, please take a note of this. Plant a tree today itself, right? So don't tell me that you don't have space. There are plenty of space around you. You plant a tree. Let it be a fruit bearing tree or any trees. So you're going to plant a tree and that is going to be your best friend. Yes, trees are our best friends. So you're going to plant a tree and you're going to make a scrapbook. In this book, you have to take a picture of the tree that you planted and then you will paste it. You will write the name of the tree there and every month, every month, you will be taking new, new photos of that, pictures of that and pasting it. All right. And by the end of the year, you will be giving me the scrapbook and I will evaluate how you have taken care of your tree. Understood? This is very important. You have to plant a tree today itself. And that is the project that I'm going to give. Right? So, this is a famous uh, saying. A seed hidden in the heart of an apple is an orchard invisible. So, in one seed, with one seed, you can grow an orchard. It is like that. If you, one person, plant a tree, you can make an orchard. Right? So remember this always. So planting trees are very important. And that is the end of Johnny Appleseed chapter. Thank you everyone. Ciao, ciao.